Right, let's yeah. talk about some transfer news. Um, uh, and it's Chelsea, really, are right at the centre of things again. And a transfer that won't be happening, and we didn't expect it to, is Cole Palmer. Because the breaking news today is that uh, he has extended his contract by another two years to 2033, uh, which will take him into his 30th year. Um, any of you ever been able to enjoy the, the luxury of a nine-year contract? No. Uh, it's, it's unreal, isn't it? It's unreal. I'd sign yeah. it, though. <laughs> I bet you would. Oh, but yeah. Who, who, is it, who is it the better deal for? Is it a better deal yeah. for him or is it a better deal for the club? Well, it's and protecting how... their asset, isn't it? From it definitely ain't yeah. a better deal for the club. It can't be a better deal for the club. Because... Why would they that? give nine years then? Because yeah. I don't know what they're doing. I, I'm not being horrible, yeah. but you, you're talking about, like, nine years' time. How can you tell he's going to be in, in nine years' time? He's had an unbelievable season. He's a good player. Yeah. But this season, every team that goes... You know, if Tim was manager at Tottenham now and he's going to Stamford Bridge or they're playing at, at, at Tottenham's ground, the first thing you do in the team talk is stop Carl Palmer playing. Mm -hmm. Stop Carl Palmer playing. And that's the thing now. He's got that now the whole time. And now you're giving him a nine-year contract. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like him. But they're giving these players seven, eight, nine-year contracts, like all of them. That's what the reason, one of the reasons Conor Gallagher's probably going to go because he got offered two years. Mm -hmm. Two-year contract with an option, and they're giving people six and seven and eight years who, who some of them don't even play, yeah. don't even get in the team. You know, Cancelo, Cancelo, what, three years ago at Man City, took the game to another level. He was playing at full-back, he was coming inside, joining in midfield. One year later, he, he was gone from Man City, literally gone. You know, so you can't tell me these players what they're going to be like in six and seven years' time. Oh, if I was him, I'd have signed that contract. Mm. Oh, my God, he's had... But, the... Merce, if he has a season like he had last year, next year, whatever he's earning now won't be enough money. Yeah, yeah, I suppose, yeah. If he does. If he does, yeah. If he does. Do you fancy him to score 15 goals next season? No, I'm not sure. You I'm don't sure. think he'll have that same... Remember, he takes all the penalties as well, mate. It's, it's, last season, he was unreal. So I important. mean, he was, he was unreal. This season... He is marked. It is everybody. This is why you, 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 you always go on about people like Ryan Giggs and people like that. Year in, year in, year in, year in for like 20 years. The, you know, we've seen it a million times. I see it with Adi Bayo. Adi Bayo, Arsenal ripped it up, new contract. You know, pick him up, mark him. It, it's going to be hard. If he, do, if he gets 15 goals next season, I'll be like, wow, fair play to you. That's a, that's 15, a lot of goals. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of goals, 15. Yeah. It, Rachel, I mean, it's a real show of faith as well from, from Chelsea for him. <laughs> Would you now say that he is Chelsea's most important player? Well, I think that's the danger because he's still a young player. There's still likely going to be games where he, he doesn't perform. That's what you would expect from someone who's still learning and building that experience and maturing. And, yeah, I think it does put a target on, on his back for, the, you know, the teams he is going to face. He did have a great season last year, but also... It came in, a, I felt like, in a clustered period. It came at the end of the season because, obviously, we know Chelsea had a difficult start and, and then they found that little bit of form and he was at the centre of that. But, yes, yeah, nine years just seems an, an incredible amount of time. And I, I think it's nice, but sometimes, we, and we've seen it in the past, what deals like this do and the external pressure adds. And um, that's something that I think is really hard to measure. And I'm not sure, you know, how, it, you know, hopefully it doesn't affect him too much from a, a psychological point of view and performance point of view, but it, it will be challenging, I imagine. Before we chat Conor Gallagher, Clinton, just finishing off on, um, on, on Cole Palmer, talk about the length of that Chelsea contract, but Palmer has signed <coughs> up. That, that's a commitment from him to a club that we're still pretty unsure about, aren't we? This is a side in, in real what, transition. I'll be honest with you, Jules. Players signing contracts doesn't matter anymore. Even if, like, I understand what you're saying and he probably sees the project there at Chelsea and you know, hopefully Chelsea can go on and have a, an outstanding season. But as Timberdat said, if he scores more goals, his value will go up and someone will pay big money to prize him away. He's a fantastic talent. I thought more England fans wanted to see him playing in the Euros and when he did, he scored a big, important goal. So I think he's a special talent. I do think he'll have another outstanding season, but he needs the players in and around him to develop, uh, to develop him and produce because he is their best player. He is the one they lean to when they're struggling. They go to him and they say, go and produce that bit of magic. But yeah, I don't think, I don't think because he signed that nine-year deal that I think if clubs want him, and they're willing to pay the money, Chelsea will have to sell him. It doesn't mean anything for him. Yeah. I'd sign a nine-year deal. I, I still don't get it, because 
it gave him an extra two years, so he already has seven left. Yeah. I think it's an increase in wage as well, isn't it? That's what it is. Just give him an increase. I mean... Okay. I don't, I don't, it's, good, it's good for Chelsea, it's good yeah. for the fans, yeah. but, you know, I, I think he, he needs... It, it's going to be a difficult season. I wish I was 20. If he does well again this season... I wish I was 21 again, <laughs> please. <laughs> Nine and years. as good as Cole Palmer as well, eh, Clint? Well, I could score goals. That was Maybe good. I was good. You can't have two wishes. <laughs> All right, I could score goals. There you go. Yeah, no. uh, let's just go back to Chelsea and, and chat Conor Gallagher and um, what is happening with him. He is staying, for now it seems, he's been in Madrid, as you'll probably know, staying in a local hotel, having passed a medical, agreed a deal with Atletico. The movers on hold and apparently he's flying back to the UK tonight while the clubs continue to try and find a way around this. I mean, Chris... Put yourself in Conor Gallagher's position right now. How difficult is all this for him? Very, um, because I don't think he, he wants to leave his, his, his own football club as such, but obviously because of what's going on, he's getting forced out the door. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't agree with it. I think, I mean, listening to the guys there talking about the contracts, when you look at, you know, the way these contracts are getting structured now, I mean, I'm not a finance expert, but short term, it seems to be OK. But you're just kicking the can down the street because this is going to have to be paid for years and years and years. And if you don't have success, then how are you going to pay this from years to come? Um, you know, I, I think... You know, when you've got homegrown talent, yes, you can cash in it. But um, I think Conor Gallagher, for me, I can understand his frustration in terms of he's seen people coming in and getting big wages and, and he's not been rewarded for that. He's an England internationalist and nine times out of ten, they carry the... Uh, they're the ones that get the big wages. He's probably looked at Cole Palmer now as well, albeit in a different role and a different type of player. But he's English and... You know, I can understand his frustration, but the whole thing with Chelsea just right now is an absolute basket case. They've now went from negotiating with somebody else to try and get, negotiate to bring back Joao Felix, who couldn't wait to get away from Chelsea not that long ago to join Barcelona. That didn't work out, and now there might be a deal to bring him back to Chelsea. It's just, it's all over the place. All over the place.